Today is another beautiful day on the Architrust server. Welcome to the Dysfunctional Gamers. I am Dysfunctional Diva, and today we are going to breed up some of our high level Rexes. So I have Aphrodite here. She's a very nicely bred Rex. She came out at 181. Her melee was 419, I believe. So she's not too bad. Her stats are okay. I don't mind them at all. Um, and then we also have Athena, who is our oops, our highest bred female right now. She came out of the egg at 193. I bred her with Pandora, the one next to me, and Hades, who is outside. He was a 108 when I got him, and he actually, his taming effectiveness wasn't the greatest. Something happened. I wasn't actually there when he woke up. One of the other tri peeps were, so I don't know really what happened. He didn't tame out that great. I think he came out at like 156 or something like that, so not the greatest. Um, so Pandora is her mom, and Hades is her dad. She came out at 193. Her melee was 453 when she came out. So she was she was pretty good. Um, I'm not really entirely sure if that's good for a Rex. So this is a learning process for me too. It's um, it's a fun learning process, of course. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. It's a very fun learning process. Gotta say I like it a lot. So um. Uh, that's who we're breeding today. I'm breeding all three of my females with Poseidon. He was my highest level male. He tamed out at 176, I believe. So he was pretty good male, that's for sure. So our plan for these guys is we're actually building up a T-Rex army for one of the bosses. So it's pretty exciting. We are definitely excited about it. I've never personally done any bosses yet, so um, this is all new to me. <laughs> I'm really excited. I can't wait to start. Can't wait to start. Um, let's see what else. Forgot. Um, I'm probably going to tame up some high-level Deodons as well and breed them. I'm gonna breed them for health and weights because when we do take them in the into the boss area, they can focus on healing all of my dinosaurs that we take in there. So we're they can ha ta hopefully heal our T-Rexes up pretty nicely. I'm also thinking I might use some trikes as tanks so they can, you know, focus on distracting the boss more or less while our T-Rexes attack. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Like I said, I've never done any of the bosses before, so I hope it's going to work the way I have in my head, but I'm not really sure. So anyways, I'm going to get started on breeding the Rexes right now. I'm going to show you what um, Poseidon's stats are as well. Do that right now. I've never actually tried to do multi breeding, so I really hope it's gonna work <laughs> the way I think it's going to. So, anyways, here is Poseidon. His stats look pretty nice. I'm pretty sure he got a good boost in his health and his food. Well, I think his food is actually on the normal range. His stamina sucks, but we're gonna work on that sort of thing. I'm also going to really try to find another high level Rex. I've been talking about it for a few days, so really hope that that's something I can do. Okay, so right now, currently, oops, I am going to start putting all of my Rexes on. Ah! Alright, so while these guys all mate, um, we'll let them do the deed, and as soon as we get some eggs going and hatched, I will be back. Alright, and welcome back. So, by the looks of it, we got three lovely eggs that are gonna all hatch within pretty much the same time. Now, I, you know what? I'm thinking I might actually 
give them a few seconds apart. That way they're not all kinds of crazy. Okay, give me a mail. Oh, this is so exciting. Super duper exciting. So excited to see what we get. It's probably going to be the color of Poseidon. It'd be nice if it got like um, some kind of genetic mutation. There's a little bit of red, and then the rest of the colors. It's, it's almost there. Oh, what did we get. Hey, we got a mail! Oh my goodness, that's so exciting! I finally got my first mail. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how exciting I am. I just feel a little bit. Oh, we got a mail. Oh, how exciting this one's coming next. This one's a female. That's okay. Level 176. Oh, that one's not very good. I'm not impressed with that one. <coughs> We finally got a mail. Finally, finally, finally. And I'm, you know what? I'm not really crazy about any of the levels of these guys. The mail was the highest level. Um, let's see here. Yeah, he was definitely the highest level. So that's okay. Um, it's kind of, kind of funny, I guess. Um, the male, the lowest level male that I bred ended up with the highest level baby. So maybe I'll try breeding the females with him next. It's okay though, they're, they're not too bad, like, not bad at all. They're gonna make them fall apart. So, um, there you go. We did a triple, a triple Rex breed, which is okay. Kind of liked it a lot. It was fun. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise them and once they are fully mature, um, we'll be back with some of the adult Rexes that we've bred. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we are officially done our breeding. I'm just going to actually turn this guy off. go so no more passive healing now let's take a look at the stats let's start with electrona i chose greek names. greek goddess and god greek gods and goddesses so let's take a look at her her stats first so her health is pretty good i'm pretty happy with that um her melee seems pretty good as well she tamed out at 176 so she's a bit of a lower level and everything else looks pretty good. I'd like to see a little bit more in her stamina. Her movement speed's pretty good, a little bit less than some of the other ones I do have, so I'm okay with that. I think it's pretty good. I'm only using these for boss fighting, so the health as well as melee are the two things that I want to really breed into the Rexes and try to get the highest level I can. Or not the highest level, the highest melee and the highest health I can possibly breed into these Rexes. So I'm pretty happy with her. Let's take a look at Calypso. Is this Calypso? Oh, this is Zeus, sorry. So his melee is 436, so he's a little bit less than the female, and his health is a little bit less, so... Oh, his imprinting is only 90%. Oh, that's the turds. I guess I missed one of his... Oh, that really is disappointing. Huh, okay, well... Still, he could have been a little bit better. His stamina kind of his stamina sucks like the rest of them do too. Um, movement speed is okay-ish. So he wasn't the greatest. So we're gonna have to try to breed him to some better stats with some of his babies. So it's okay, I guess. Um, I don't mind them at all. So that's 
his. Now let's go check out Calypso. Calypso. She's pretty much the same as Electrona. Um, everything else looks good. Her stamina kind of really, really sucks a lot, actually. Um, everything else is okay. I'm pretty happy with that. So these are all of my babies so far. Let's take a look at them. I think they are good, and I'm going to actually spend some time today leveling up these lovely little beauties, and then I uh, might try giving, I might try breeding a little bit more and see how the next generation of babies comes out. So please do stay tuned for that episode. If you did like this ser if you did like this episode, please do hit our like button and our subscribe button it really does help us out and we'll be able to bring you more content like this in the future if you have suggestions or you would like to see me breed any other kind of dinosaurs please feel free to comment or leave your suggestions below on how i can improve my videos so until next time thank you for watching and we'll be back soon bye bye guys